What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to do a oil change on my BMW. Um, it's probably been done a million times on YouTube, but um, figured I'd do it just in case somebody comes across my video. Maybe I can help somebody out. Not sure. But today's car is going to be a um, 2010 uh, BMW 135i. Uh, it does have the N54, not the N55, but the same process is going to apply to a 335, 535, and I think some of the X series has the uh, N54 engine. I'm not totally sure. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get this pulled in and go through the steps of how I do an oil change. It's super easy, super fast. Um, I like to have the car a little warm, not too hot, obviously. Don't wanna burn yourself, but it lets the oil flow just a little bit better and gets things done quick and easy. So uh, let's get this car pulled in and uh, let's get started. <laughs> Uh, I am super lazy and don't want to pull this car out, so I do have it on some blocks, but it'll give me enough room to uh, change the oil under there with a drip pan and show you guys what's going on. So let me get the pan set up and let's get to it. So before we get started, I do want to let you know uh, what oil I'm using. You know, it, it's kind of just a personal preference thing as long as it is uh, BMW LL01 approved, uh, then you're good to go. Um, that's the most important thing. I'm using a little bit thicker oil. This oil filter, I've used it on a bunch of my other cars. Uh, Mobile One, I've had really good luck in my SR car uh, and other vehicles that I've had. So um mobile one it was on sale even so can't beat that but you're gonna need a drip pan with at least seven quarts of uh, capacity because that is what this thing takes is about 6.9 so let's get started so i should have been a little less lazy and jacked it up um but that would entail moving this thing I definitely recommend jacking it up, putting jack stands under it, um, being totally safe, but that would require me getting my other keys, playing musical cars. So here we are. I'm going to deal with it. I suggest you not. <clears throat> there's this dust shield or skid plate or whatever you want to call it. And there's this jacking point right here. Um, and then right behind it, right here, is going to be your oil drain. What I like to do is crack it loose, put my, put my uh, bucket down there, put my bucket down there. And then just loosen it with my fingers until it's ready to come out. Okay. So it should only be just a few more threads in there. So what I do is I just pop it straight out and let it fall. Hopefully it doesn't fall into your drain bucket. It's a little warm. Maybe it's a little too warm. And just let it fall. And try not to make a mess, but you know, stuff happens. It's almost inevitable. Just gotta let it drain until it's not dripping so much. So, while the oil is finishing dripping down there, 
I'm going to loosen and take out the old filter. Uh, I've already loosened it up. Um, I didn't know where my tool was, so I'm not gonna lie, I used a C-clamp. Uh, O'Reilly's Napa and AutoZone sell, you know, BMW filters or uh, if your dealership's cool enough, they'll sell you one. Right. So there is your filter. And the way that these come out, they literally just pull right out. So here is the new filter. And most BMW kits, or if it's specific to BMW, they have a bunch of different O-rings and gaskets for uh, you to put into this guy right here, which I can show you that now. Uh, if you're not doing a BMW, most of the time that you won't have this kind of filter, uh, you'll have one that screws into the bottom and you don't have to worry about the O-rings. So what you wanna do is grab yourself a pick like tool, flathead screwdriver works, that's fine. Uh, and you'll see that you have, and you'll see that you have a big O-ring and then a little O-ring. The big O-ring is this guy right here. The little O-ring is that guy right there. Excuse my long nails, but they just kind of pop off. So if you put your pry tool up there, if you put your pry tool right up there, And if you damage the old one, obviously it doesn't matter if you have a new one, but if you don't have a new one, don't even worry about this step. Put the big guy down there in that little groove. You'll see it right there where I'm going. And it just kind of snaps right into place. And this top guy, in this top guy right here, uh, you're gonna notice that, you know, if it's never been changed or it's been lacking a uh, changing, sometimes these kits don't come with that little guy. Um, but mine was very hard, very, you know, almost like plastic, probably from the factory that way. And so this new one being rubber, it's a better O-ring. And it just slips right over, just like the other one. Boom. Just like that. And we are ready to pop the new filter in. So it does not look like that the filter is directional. Some of them will say uh, it just slides in like that. So uh, once you've got that all in there, you just want to screw that guy back in. And once it stops draining, as you can see, it's not dripping anymore. I'm going to install the, I'm going to install the drain plug again, but this time with the new crush washer right there uh, that came in the kit with the O-rings.
make sure you guys clean the threads of the drain plug. You don't want it to get gummed up and be even harder because that crush washer is going to make it hard to uh, take that out in the first place. Move the bucket out of the way and tighten your bolt back up. Again, I recommend using a box end uh, or some sort of six point. I don't know where my box end 17 went. And just like that, you are done down there. So you can go ahead and pull that pan out clean up any messes that you may have made because you know it's inevitable so you might have already googled it but if you haven't the uh, oil capacity for an N54 is going to be um, 6.9 quarts so I have seven quarts here plus a little bit uh, just in case And you'll notice I've got this, I'm holding it backwards or upside down because it creates a better airflow at the top there and gurgles less. So it's a more smooth pour. Alrighty, and this is the last of the 6.9 quarts. Um, it's kind of impossible to get all of the oil out of the system when you're doing an oil change, unless it's a brand new engine. So you're gonna have a little left over. Realistically, it should be about, you know, 6.8, 6.75. But what's cool is you can check your car and then fill it you know as you please or as the vehicle desires but I'm gonna go with that right there this is you know about a tenth left of the oil in this court clean up any messes that you have made up there um, while pouring because you know it happens if any oil dripped around the filter you want to clean that too just because it's gonna burn and be really gross so uh, after you put the oil in what you want to do is start it up and check the level because these things don't have dipsticks So what you're gonna wanna do is press the uh, trip reset button for about seven seconds. Two, three, four, or until it hits that. And then you want to scroll there until you see engine oil. Then you're gonna tap, or you're gonna hold the outside button until it says reset. And then you're gonna press it again sorry you're gonna hold it until it shows you that little clock right there and then it just reset itself and it is no longer in there 
I guess I need to do my brake fluid inspection. Uh, but there you go, your engine oil is changed.